dots on the finger. If you polish and the whole thing looks really black and it's not really shiny, then it's no polish. Nothing's happening, but then you will go. Move on it. This pad right here, that angle is where you're going to do your polish. That angle is going to sit right there. Just in the weight of the polisher or less. You also don't want to heat it up, so just go spread the polish around and straight down or straight across. And a little bit of pressure, pull it off, put it with your hand. If it's too hot to put your hand on there, then you need to fasten it. Spread the compound around with a buffer, then polish in straight lines. Do not get the aluminum too hot. If I say this a lot, it's because it's really important. I did my first compounding with Nuvite F9, which is the coarsest grit of polish. Pick a small area, about one square foot to polish at a time. This allows you to figure out how much polish to use, as well as how many passes it's going to take to get it shiny. It also gives you a small reward to see a tiny patch of progress, which is nice. If you try a bigger area, the polish is likely to dry, causing extra work. The main goal with the initial compounding is to remove corrosion and round over any scratches. You may not be able to polish out all of the scratches, but you can round the edges enough to make them less noticeable. Your first compounding is critical. It determines how the final product will look. If you polish the aluminum to a level you're happy with, then the next steps will just keep improving the surface. But if you aren't satisfied, the next steps are not going to help. You have to have a good base for the following grits of polish. Once you're done compounding, you want to remove the excess polish while it's still soft. I use cornstarch and a microfiber towel. If the polish dries on the aluminum, you'll have to repolish it or use mineral spirits to get it off. Reinforce any small pieces that aren't attached to your airstream or fuselage. That way they don't get damaged while polishing. The buffer has a lot of horsepower, which you need to be aware of. This horsepower is necessary to move the microscopic layer of aluminum around on the alloy, and that creates that deep shine. 